Welcome back, everybody. Blue Cross and Blue Shield of Louisiana is gearing up to give back next week as part of an extended recognition of Martin Luther King Jr. Day and the National Day of Service. Today, Rod Teamer, the Director of Diversity Programs and Business Development, is here to tell us more about what they have planned. Hello, welcome. Good morning. Looking good in that Blue Cross and Blue Shield blue. I see what you're doing there. Thank you for having me. Of course, thank you so much for coming on. And I want to say thank you to all of Blue Cross and Blue Shield of Louisiana for doing something like this because look, you all are in healthcare, right? I don't necessarily equate healthcare and volunteering together, but I love that you all are doing that. Why did you all choose to add that to what you all do? Well, you know, I've been working for the company now 18, going on 19 years. Come on! And yeah, from day one, we will, you know, they will always introduce community service as a part of our commitment to the communities mm -hmm. that we serve. So, um, you know, and I'm also responsible for our diversity, equity, inclusion work. So this is an opportunity for us to bring our commitment to DE&I and our commitment to service together and uh, honor Dr. King's legacy. Absolutely, and you all are doing something so great. You all have been doing this program, actually, since 2018. Tell us about this pack party that y'all got going on. Right, so when you think about Dr. King, most people think about you know the civil rights movement, mm -hmm. but part of that movement was his commitment to eliminating poverty. And we know in this community across the state, we have a lot of people that suffer from food insecurity. Mm -hmm. So one of the ways that we wanted to honor his legacy and his commitment to service is by having these food packing parties, mm -hmm. working with the food bank to be able to provide meals for people who are facing food insecurity. Second Harvest is the organization Second that you Harvest, all work right. with, and you all are seeing some photos right there. My goodness, this looks fun. I hear there's music being played, right. and a lot of great things happening for sure. And what's great is that you all have not only a local goal, but a state goal. Talk to me about the right. goals this year. So this year, here in the greater New Orleans area, we're going to commit to pack over 40,000 meals. That's 40 Zero, zero, zero. Come on. I think I got that right. Absolutely, yeah. <laughs> And we're also packing 200,000 across the state. Now, since 2018, we've done over half a million f food packs Amazing. as a team. And we're also working with Entergy, uh, Healthy Blue, and the Pelicans, New Orleans Saints. So we're really excited. It's a great day. We'll have a lot of fun. The essence of teamwork, we, we create like little uh, conveyor belt of human teamwork and we pack these meals and get it done. So you tell me I get to possibly be packing meals with a Pelicans player? Possibly. Stop it. And what's great is that it's coming up next Tuesday, everybody, because of course MLK Day is a holiday that Monday, but you all will be doing that at Second Harvest Food Bank. Correct. And you all are still looking for a couple of volunteers, so if you are interested, head over to bcbsla.com for more information. That's the website. Right. Absolutely. We got it memorized. Don't worry, for sure. And what's great is that you all are even taking it a step more forward. Okay, you all are doing something with DC. Tell us what you're doing right. when it comes to AIDS and HIV. IV. So last year we participated, we hosted the National AIDS Memorial Quilt that came in uh, at Dillard and, and here in New Orleans and at Southern and Baton Rouge. Mm -hmm. And you know, it's basically honoring and remembering those folks who have been afflicted with HIV and AIDS, particularly in the communities of color Absolutely. around the country. Black and and as lives. a result of that, the, you know, the, we were invited to create a piece of that quilt. So our employees got together this year and have actually created a quilt, a piece of the quilt that will be displayed up in D.C. Um, we're going to send that up in February, sometime in February. So really excited to be a part of that legacy, you know, but again, it fits in and aligns with our commitment to community service and uh, looking out for those who maybe are afflicted with some type of challenge. It's so important, and you all are seeing the actual section that they will be sending up to D.C. Amazing. Love, hope, healing. Super, super cool. But you all aren't stopping there. You all have a full calendar of events that happen throughout the year, right? Right. So, you know, one of the ways that we know that we're doing, making a difference is that we receive recognition from the Points of uh, Light Foundation as being one of the top 50 uh, civic organizations in the country. Yeah. And that's a result of the numbers of hours that our employees, we document our employees working in the community. So we're really excited about that. You know, as you know, we saw each other at the UNCF event last fall. Yes, the Walk for you Education. Know, we'll be out at some United Way events. Mm -hmm. We work with the Heart Fund. 
on American Cancer Society, Covenant House. I participated in the Covenant House Sleep Out. This year, fall. or yeah. should I say in 2023, since we're in 2024 right. now? Been doing it for the last 10 years. So, you know, um, I'm just one example of 2,500 employees that get out, or 3,000 now, that get out and volunteer across the state in different capacities. So, you know, that's just me, but Come if you on. multiply me that many times, you well, know, we're making a big impact. Clearly, they hired the best guy, right? 20 years with the company and can making you, a difference. Can you say that again? <laughs> I love it. You hired the right guy. Okay, look, thank you so much for being here, Mr. Happy. Teamer. Thank you. And look, everybody, if you want more information about the AIDS Memorial Interactive Quilt Program, log on to the website on your screen, and when you type in the word Louisiana, you will be able to see where the Blue Cross and Blue Shield quilt is. So cool. And for more information about all the volunteering at Blue Cross and Blue Shield of Louisiana, head over to bcbsla.com. We'll be right back.